Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for this episode 10 of the 200 horsepower challenge here on Comlands with me, Farmer Murphy. Well, it is actually a couple days or a couple months since I talked to you last. Uh, yesterday there was nothing to do in game other than look after the animals and sell our silage. There was no grass ready or anything. So um, that is why we're here in November, not October. Now, I did say I sold the silage. It is gone. We sold 228,000 liters of silage. Um, we sold 3,000 liters of milk and 20,000 liters of fertilizer. And that fertilizer actually came from basically would be four months of production the last two months and in the previous two months which i had saved up so we had fertilizer for our field now our grass is ready the grass that we planted is ready to uh, be mowed and so is our other grass interestingly enough so uh somehow we've gotten everything on the same month not sure how that happened i think i suspect that the uh, planted grass grows a little faster than the meadow grass and as you can see our barley is ready to harvest so that is our main chore so we need to head up to the shop and pick ourselves up a harvester so i'll see you there well we're up here at the store so let's take a look now we have that 200 horsepower requirement as there's uh, this Deutzfahr one. It's though 310 horsepower. But I did find on Mod Hub another Deutzfahr one, this M series one here. And we can take it up right to 195. And this is the one I've been kind of saving up for because it. Uh, would mean that we don't need to uh, upgrade it. That'll be our, our final harvester. Uh, ideally, I'd like to get big enough so we have a couple of these. Um, I don't know what year it is, but just from the look of it, it, it looks like it's a little bit older, older harvester, but should do the job. Uh, no, I don't need any triangles, but I did want to change that to white. I think that looks a little better there so we will buy that now we need a header and this is where there's a little bit of risk i'm going to try this header that comes with the base game uh top liner but it has a uh, 100 more horsepower than what we have so i am not sure if it's going to work or not but we're going to give it a try uh, so we'll buy that and hopefully we don't get burnt if it struggles we'll just struggle in our field then and probably sell it because i did find one that's quite a bit smaller that we could use now i'm not going to buy the header trailer right now just in case this <laughs> doesn't work out uh it'll we'll uh, lose a little less money so i'm just going to sneak it down to the uh, farm uh, as it is now I have turned the time down just to normal time for today um, because we got lots to do. We've got this barley to harvest and then we need to pick up the straw and we've got uh, most of our grass to cut and what have we got left? 43,000. If possible, um, I'd like to sneak in that fermenting silo. The silo itself is not terribly expensive. We are just going to cut across here, cut the corner on the neighbor's field here. Like I was saying, the silo itself is not very expensive, but I, I've studied the, the screenshot I took of the layout I did up above, and it's going to require some landscaping, so I'm not sure if we'll have enough money uh, to do that landscaping. I kind of looked at it to see if I could uh, move things around, but uh, I just don't think it's going to work, so. 
there might be a little bit more uh, fertilizer to sell yet because I just uh, put that in not that long ago so we might get another uh, bit of a kiss at the top of the hour from that but whoops 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 just about scared the crap out of both of us come on you guys I want to get across here um, we'll get this barley done first and uh, see how our harvester makes up with this header Hold it. Now the straw swath. Yeah, figured it would be on by default. Well, so far so good. Running the uh, downhill, <laughs> not a problem. Uh, the test will be on the other side. We got to go uphill. So we'll pick up this straw and we'll fill up our uh, production, forage production with it. And then whatever's left we'll throw into our, uh, uh, well, our, what we're using for fertilizer production. I don't know what else to call it, our farm production, let's call it that. Because we can mix uh, slurry with straw and make manure and we are making more um, slurry than we are manure so uh, we can take and mix up some manure and that'll give us the ability to make more fertilizer and also we can fill up our uh, cow pit but other than that we have no place to store loose straw and the barley is going to go into that same production and we'll make seeds out of it some we'll keep for our own use and then some will sell. Now I'm not sure if we can <clears throat> take it back out um, like we can with the uh, fertilizer uh, end line, but if we can get some back out I actually would work out pretty good because I'd like to get the chickens in but I, we're going to turn around and put barley right back in here so we don't, I'm not too too worried about that. If we get that fermenting silo in, uh, oh, I it came up that hill, no problem at all. So I think this is going to work out okay, as long as we don't get any uh, steeper inclines. What I'm going to do, finish off here. I'm just going to run down to the other end here, and we'll try coming up this side, because I think it's a little steeper coming up this way just to see how it performs, but I think it's going to be just fine. Which is some good news, because that's a six meter header on there, and uh, if we get some larger fields and we can, you know, that we make ourselves that are worker friendly, we could have a couple of these going with uh, workers. We do all right. Just see how it handles going up here. Oh, it's having no trouble with this header at all. Nice. Well, being able to jump right to this, uh, well, we'll call it end game harvester, is means we don't have to go through the upgrade progress process, I should say, buying a smaller harvester and you know, selling it off and upgrading it, losing a little money each time you do that. Got to get turned around and go in the right direction here because we're just about full. I'm going to need to unload it.
yeah, I'm not too worried about uh, getting the barley back out of the production if we can't, because I, I doubt we'll have chickens um, before we get our next harvest off anyway. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. We can always buy a little barley if we turn this all to seed, because uh, seed's worth more than barley. I believe it is anyways. I guess I should check that. <laughs> Oh, 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 shoot, shoot, shoot. And I said we were just about full, and I wasn't paying attention. And as you can tell, I've got crop destruction on. Oh, busy talking. And All right. Well, I've got to get organized here. Um, get the tractor hooked onto the trailer, so I'll bring you back in in just a minute. Well, we're just loading up our trailer here. Um we're going to have to dump every time because our trailer will only hold one uh, harvester hopper. Yeah. So let's run down. Now I did a quick check and at its peak price barley's worth just about $700 per thousand and at its peak price seed is worth $1,900 per thousand. That's, again, we'll have to sell internally, so we'll take 20% off of that. So it'll be, what, 1700 But uh, definitely worth selling. So if we turn all our barley into seed, it might give us enough money to buy the chickens, but then we won't have barley to feed them. But if we don't turn our barley into seed, we won't have money to buy the chickens. <laughs> kind of a catch-22. Now, I'm just going to see if it'll... Oh, look at that. Uh, we should find barley. It will let us take it back out of there, so it acts just like a silo. Cool. Nice. So maybe we will actually hold back some of that uh, barley just in case we do get our chickens. We'll make seed, keep some, sell some, and uh, hold a little barley back. All right, I'll just park here for the time being. Run back up the hill. Well, so far everything is going just swimmingly. How unusual. <laughs> Other than our little tracks I made into our barley field that is you've seen me do that before Maybe down the road we might need to look at getting a baler and baling up our straw to get more uh, arable fields. Below it, the silo I was looking at putting in, I think might be a multi-fruit, so we might be able to store straw in there, a uh, loose straw, so that might be all right. We'll have to double check that though. Now that silage we just sold, uh, we we were getting close to peak price, and if we put in that fermenting silo and throw the our current crop of grass in there, that gives us the flexibility to sit and hang on to it until peak price comes around. Before, excuse me, using the uh, silage pit with only having one, we had to sell as soon as it was fermented because we had more grass to go back in. Although, uh, the fermenting silo I picked out is not very big. I, you know, 
it'll hold somewhere between 800,000 and a million liters, I think, max. Because we don't have seasons, we can just turn around. Once I get the straw picked up, we can get barley put right back in this field. That's why I said I could turn the time down, because I've got that to do and mowing to do. There's going to be a bit off camera work on, on this month. Rest of this harvester. That other field to the south of us there that we you know pointed out we wanted to buy, it's not got any hillsides on it that are any steeper than this one. So we shouldn't have any issue at all. So I will pick up the um, header trailer for this header. I wonder if this has a hitch on it. Oh, it does too. Look at that. Yeah, so uh, we can put the header on it so it makes it easier to store. Try not to run over any more crop. All right, well, I think I'll carry on and finish up this harvest because uh, I want to show picking up some of the straw and filling up our production as well uh, putting in that uh, fermenting silo if we've got enough money. So I think I will leave you there for the time being and I will catch up with you when we're ready to start uh, picking up straw. So, see you in a little bit.
Well, I just dumped in the last of our barley, and I don't know if you can see it there on the right, though. It tells us we have 18,988 liters of barley, so not too bad at all. I did look, well, we can look at it together as well, but to make seeds from barley, I need manure. Um, and I did stop the fertilizer production, so we had a little manure left that we can... Uh, um, used to make some seeds here so we'll turn that on and unlike the fertilizer which i have back on selling well we do have 3,000 liters we're going to get a kiss at the beginning of the or at the top of the hour the seeds yeah they're on storing so i'm going to leave them on storing and uh, i'm going to fill up our cedar and i'm going to fill up our seed box here uh, and then the rest i think we can sell so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use our trailer and I am going to empty as much straw out of our production into our cow pen uh, as possible. Just because I can't get the forage wagon into the cow pen. And I'm going to pick up, I have to come at this from a different angle, I'm going to start picking up that straw. So I'll bring you back in at that point. Okay, so our cow pen is full of straw. We still have a little bit left in our forage uh, or our, yeah, our forage production. So I would think we're going to get more than enough off here to fill up our uh, our production. I would hope anyway. We're going to know soon enough, anyways. And we, as you can see, our money did go up a little bit. So we did sell off that uh, extra fertilizer. So I think we should have enough to get our uh, fermenting silo in. It, like I said, just a bit of a risk putting it in because it's uh, the cornerstone of our build up there is actually our shop and we don't definitely don't have the money to put that in so worst case we might have to take it out and move it but it, it's only the 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 fermenting silo itself is only ten thousand so it's it's not a lot of money so if we do have to move it won't be won't be the end of the world almost 32 hours on our tractor already and you only have one tractor boy doesn't take long for the hours to mount up Now I think it'll probably only take about two wagon loads to fill up our production, I'm going to guess. I'm assuming it's going to hold about the same amount as the hay. Boy, I did get those a little close to the road. Oh well, makes it challenging. You know, one of the things I just realized now, looking back there, I didn't allow for that uh, little production, a little farm production there. I didn't put that in my build, but it's not got a very big footprint. I'm sure we can squeeze it in up there someplace. 
Or we could just leave it where it's at too for that matter. It's, it's not too bad. There, which seems to be looking a little okay. Oh, and uh, I had told you, I think it was last episode, that the cow pen I was going to use uh, held 200 cows. Um, I was mistaken, it must have been another one, because it is 150, kind of right right where we were aiming for, so that's, that's nice. It's a little pricey though, I think it's 200 grand. Well, we're definitely going to fill up our forage production, but I don't know that we're going to have a whole lot left over to throw in our uh, our farm production. But that's just a bonus anyways. And, that, you know, the money we make out of that thing, if we need to throw a little straw in there to make some extra manure, it's worth buying it because straw isn't that expensive. Boy, once you start getting the hours on the tractor, it doesn't take long for the uh, the repair uh, counter to go down. I just repaired it, as you, you may recall, last episode. We haven't used it that much. Thankfully, it was a cheap enough tractor. It doesn't doesn't cost us a lot to repair at this point yet, anyway. There we go. So we probably have one more load out of here. Maybe a little bit more. We'll see how full we are after this one. One of the nice things about the fermenting silo, one of the biggest nuisances with the bunker is uh, emptying it. And of course that all goes away with the fermenting silo. All right, let's just check and see how close we are to full here. Oh, basically we are full. All right, so the rest can go in our our farm production. What I like to use to empty the uh, bunkers that we didn't ever have the money to buy is uh, this right here. This works like a dream. Uh, but that costs more than our fermenting silo. But that's what I was kind of heading towards. It just works excellent for uh, picking silage up out of bunkers. 
All right, well, I'll carry on with the rest of this straw. And uh, then I think we're going to try and put in our fermenting silo. So I'll bring you back in then. See you in a little bit. Well, at this point, I need to apologize because, as you can see, this is not a clip of me putting in the fermenting silo. I did do it, but either I didn't record it or I more likely uh, deleted it inadvertently. Ironically, uh, when I was doing it, I even showed the landscaping um, because I said everything was going so well. It was an opportunity for a train wreck. Well, it was a bigger train wreck than I thought because when I went looking for the clip, there it was gone so i'll have to leave you there for this episode uh you'll have to check out the uh, fermenting silo in the next one but if you're still with me really appreciate you watching if you haven't already I encourage you to hit that like and subscribe button and don't forget about that old notification bell if you want to know when other fantastic content like this lands but for this episode it's farmer murphy signing off from comlands